All right, it is time, y'all. Thank God, I've been waiting for this update. But update 2.0 for Cyberpunk has started now. Uh, well, a few hours ago it started. Um, but your boy is playing it now. I'm literally taking the whole day and just playing the, this update. Yes, uh, uh, Phantom Liberty is not out till next week. I think it's Tuesday. Let me check the calendar to make sure I get that right. Yeah, Tuesday, five days from now. They literally just posted it saying five days to go. But yeah, so that story is not here yet. But the big update, which they talk about all in this, we talked about it in a couple videos. Um, big changes, which I heard is very well. For those who got it early, I didn't get anything early. But for those who got it early, saying the update is a big change. They some said this is what how Cyberpunk should have been released. And I'm pretty sure uh, CD Projekt Red wanted it to release this game the way it is now with this update according to how people are praising it i'm pretty sure this is how cd project red wanted to release it but they got bosses and i'm pretty sure they was told to release it early so that's why i know people was giving cd project red a lot of flack i wouldn't have i didn't do it and i never encouraged y'all uh, anybody to do it because you don't know who their bosses are and i think that for a lot of gaming companies it's not technically the couple like CD Projekt Red is the ones who are paying them to make the game. They sometimes have a time schedule and if it conflicts with, you know, the creators who are trying to make the right game, it can mess up everything in which we saw what happened when uh, Cyberpunk came out when it first came out. But uh, update 2.0 is here. Uh, I am doing a reaction because I want to see what this behind the scenes of this trailer is of uh, um, Phantom Liberty. But first I want to say, because I was warned and I want to give the warning to y'all. If, I mean, when you're playing Cyberpunk right now, if you're playing right now, you're about to. If you have already played the game, let, let's say if you've never bought the game yet. If you bought the game, you're good. This information is not for you. But for those who have it and are thinking about using the bills they got, they advise you to make a new one. A new save, uh, just a new character. They said that way you can get the full aspect of 2.0 in its updates. So I don't know if that means you won't get anything with your older builds when it comes to the update, but they was giving advice. So I guess it's like at your own risk, see if it works with the older builds, but I'm gonna take their advice because they didn't really say you have to, but it was advised, you know, if you want the full aspect of the update, have a new build. So that's what I'm doing. I literally just made a new build. Uh, please go subscribe to my new channel. It's called Relaxing Gaming, where I'm playing video games with no interruptions, no nothing of me talking, uh, pausing the game or nothing. It's no commentary gaming. And I started a new build walkthrough with um, the new update. So whatever you see right now on that channel is going to be the new update. And then when uh, Phantom Liberty comes out, you'll see that gameplay on there as well. Which, by the way, they also said uh, Phantom Liberty, you can play. And actually, the comment section told me last time, last reaction I had of this game, too, which thank y'all, that you can go back and forth to the main game and Phantom Liberty. So I, right now, with the new build I have and playing with the game right now with the update, even though I'm in the middle of that, when Phantom Liberty comes out, I can still go there. So when the game, when the that mode comes, when Phantom Liberty comes out, you will see gameplay of that. Me stopping the main story and going to Phantom Liberty to showcase that for y'all. But that will be on my new channel, Relaxing Gaming. The link is in the description, and I'll put the link in the comment section so y'all can see it. We just were almost halfway to my first thousand subs on there, so if y'all can help support me over there. I will appreciate it. I'm trying to get to our first thousand and I'm ready for this. On this channel, the main channel, I'm talking about things and reacting to things of Cyberpunk and in time, it's going to take some time, but in time I will re uh, give a review, my review of what I think about it. Uh, but that'll take time. Like I'm taking my time on this game before any review comes out. But if you want gameplay, definitely go over there. No commentary, no interruptions. It's a chill vibe and yeah, y'all will enjoy it. But anyway, I want to see what this has to offer. I'm excited. After this, I'm going right back. Uh, I already finished my part one. As soon as the update happened, I think I miss, uh, misinformed. I, I, I hope I didn't say I didn't play. No, I have played with the update this morning, but just for part one, just to get, see uh, if I noticed anything in the beginning and to get an episode for that new channel. But after I finish react to this, I am definitely, uh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I am definitely going to go right back and playing it. So let's see what we got here. This trailer was really good, and I want to see that how they do this stuff. I'm always into whether it's movies or video games. I'm always into the behind the scenes. 
because I know like a trailer like I've reacted to before takes a lot of work and I'm always into that. So let's see what we got. I've been counting down. They even had a booth for Cyberpunk at Comic-Con, which was cool. There was a statue I wanted, but it wasn't available, but uh, still. Tell me your model just got that wow, down. Look at that. Nobody on you. I just cut surveillance cams. <sighs> Every little detail. Hold on, let me pause. That. Adios. Like I'm the seat, the artwork, the design, the, all the graffiti in the bag. Even when he's riding to the background of the city, it looks like his I own see. movie, bro. Should be back in the They honestly just, just make movies like this. <sighs> now tell me your model just got them down. Nobody on you. Just cut surveillance cams. <sighs> Adios, Night City. Should be back in the home. He just was a great actor, too, by the way. Yeah. What about you? You get your ticket out yet? You know what I'm thinking about right now? Tell me. Taco stand back home. You know what I'm thinking about right now? Tell me. Taco stand back home. Listen, when this is all over, you gotta take a break, you hear me? Wow, look at that. He licked his lips and the, the character did the same thing. I wonder how, is it comfortable or uncomfortable wearing that, what he just had on? You know I do. What does E just fall on? Like a bed? I wish they showed his side. What is he actually falling on? Probably just like a bed right there. He just drops into. Every little detail. This sure sounds tasty. Even when you like look back at him for like a mid second. I told a friend of mine a while ago that cyberpunk so design. Passenger and he's carrying. I think we might be compromised. Cyberpunk design has always am amazed me, even before the game. So maybe we got a passenger and he's carrying. I think we might be compromised. I like how they drew it like an anime show. Excuse me, Madam President. Pill? It's going to be a long flight. No, thank you. I'm coming up. No, thank you. I'm coming up. Yeah, I would love, I know that was like a taste of what they do behind the scenes, but I would love to be in their offices and watch them detail every little thing. I would sit for hours and do that. CD Projekt Red, if you ever like have a creator's day, please uh, consider me because I would love, I wouldn't say a word. I would just be into just the details. Even like Idris Elba's part, like with the outfit, how does that stuff work? I've always been into that. When they wear them outfits with the little ball and everything and on their face, how does it scan that way? So I'm very, uh, I won't say slow, but I'm not as knowledgeable as other people when it comes to technology. That's why I get more amazed than other people. And I would love just to take the time just to sit there in a gaming office and just see them go to work, not interfering, just ask some questions and then shut the heck up and watch them. But anyway, yes, I am definitely getting ready to right, go right back to playing Cyberpunk. Again, if you could support me on that new channel, I would appreciate it. That's where all the gameplay for this game will be because uh, it's with no commentary and yeah i'll be back to talk about more phantom liberty there's other things i want to react to and talk about but 
today I'm taking the time into just watching and enjoy, I mean, playing, watching and enjoying and seeing the updates. Uh, graphically, uh, when it comes to different glitches in the game, like I only played, what, an hour and 10 minutes. And I remember, like, I had my old gameplay recorded. I was, you know, looking at that and looking at the one I have now, there are some glitches that has not happened anymore. Like when people, uh, there was a situation in the old gameplay I did where uh, I destroyed someone and their body was glitching through the floor and just shaking like this. Or there's a gun that's through somebody's neck and they're they're not dead. It wasn't like that. It was just glitched in there. I haven't seen that any of that yet, so that's a good thing. And I saw how the new skill trees are. I, ooh, speaking of which, I want to show y'all. The build I'm going for. I think I said it before, but I like all these builds, but this one here is what I'm going for. Update 2. I'm Karl Mateasik, lead gameplay designer, and my favorite build is what I like to call a bullet time ninja. Yes, that right there. Speed is of the essence for both defense and offense, which is why dash and air dash are perfect to get close to enemies without taking any damage. I like to bring a katana to a gunfight, and it goes great with a new perk that lets you deflect bullets and even send them flying back at enemies. I love that. If you're running low on health, you can also perform a finisher. So yeah, that's my build that I'm going for. Definitely looking forward to it. Um, we are still in the beginning right now, so so far so good. I'm liking it, and like I said before, they're already giving it high praise the ones who had it early. So let me know what you feel about it, what your experience. Oh. And by the way, I saw a comment on the last reaction I had. Someone said, well, just keep in mind that cinematic trailer that we saw of Cyberpunk is not gameplay. I mean, yes, uh, that's not gameplay because it's called a cinematic trailer. If it was a gameplay trailer, it would be the same. But yes, I know it's not a gameplay because I guess with me giving it high praise how the cinematic trailer looked, that it was brought to me that it's just a... Is this a cinematic trailer? Yes, that's what the title said. It says cinematic trailer. Now, if it was gameplay trailer, yes, you can tell the difference between the cinematic and gameplay almost with any game you play. But, um, yeah, I know that. I know that. I didn't get to that comment yet, but I wanted to reply here. I do know that it was a difference between cinematic and gameplay trailer. And they both look good. They both look really good. Anyway, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'll see you later. Please help uh, support that new channel of mine. There's links in the description and in the comment section. See you later.